Will the market go up or down? Should you lock in or float? Find out this and more with Master of the Markets, hosted by Barry Habib of MBS Highway. Brought to you by Paramount Residential Mortgage Group. In today's mortgage environment, providing our wholesale community with the best combination of product, pricing, technology, and service is paramount to their success. PRMG, built by originators for originators. Welcome to another edition of Master of the Markets. I'm Barry Habib, and MBS Highlights, created exclusively for Mortgage News Network and brought to you by our good friends at PRMG, working for your best interest. We have a housing-centric period here. This week, you're going to get lots of housing data. I expect it to be good. And we did get a bunch last week in reviewing that data. You know, it really was pretty good. Housing starts came in higher than expectations, permits higher. Now we definitely need some of that inventory, but builders thinking that things ahead looking good. A couple of caveats there. Because of some of the tariffs and in general, the rising cost of lumber, the cost to construct a home from last year to this year, it's about $10,000 higher. Now, when you think about it, if costs are rising, those lower priced homes are more difficult to be built and still make a profit. And that's why you're seeing such a disparity here. You know, you, you look at some of the lower priced markets, it's very difficult for people to find a home um, without seeing multiple offers on them, as long as it's listed accordingly. Now, speaking of being listed accordingly, we also found that listings on the market, like record time, they are vanishing in record time, typically less than 30 days. It's just incredible what is going on here. Lots of demand, not as much supply. And that was also part of the existing home sales report. Now, this is something that measures existing homes and closings on those homes. And the number kind of hung in there. Now, the media will get on this mistakenly because they just don't get it and don't understand it because the number of sales was a little bit less than expectation, not much less, about 1% less than expectation. So they said, oh, housing market's bad now. This it's simply because there's a lack of inventory. If there were more inventory, there would be more sales. That was even reiterated by the head of the chief economist, rather, for the National Association of Realtors. There is, in his words, nowhere near enough demand, a, a supply to meet the demand that's out there. So when we take a look at the housing market, yeah, the strength remains there, but it puts us in a little bit of a precarious position because prices are going up. And the last report shows that we are at a record price for the median home sale price on existing homes, just a hair under 265,000. That's an all time record. And what we have to start to think about is, are things still affordable? Fortunately, the economy is good. Unemployment's low. Wages are rising. And for the most part, keeping us at a level where affordability is still within reach. However, if prices continue to ex escalate at a much higher level, we don't see wages, they don't have to go in lockstep. We don't see wages keep up at least a little bit more. Uh, we will see perhaps some topping out in some of the higher priced areas. We're already perhaps getting that in some markets around the country. Now this week, we're gonna get, aside from more housing data, we're going to get some inflation data via the PCE, personal consumption expenditure. This is a very important report and it is one that can certainly determine the direction of interest rates. Now, if you take a look at the chart of interest rates, you'll see whether it's pricing or whether it's yield, it kind of looks like a pennant formation where you see it. The tops are getting lower, the bottoms are getting higher, and either the price or yield is getting squeezed within what looks like a pennant flag formation. This typically leads to a breakout. I'm telling you, I think that this week we get that breakout and we probably get an exacerbated move out of this pennant formation. So I anticipate some volatility. I want you to hold on to your hats this week. And if you haven't done so already, take a look at MBS Highway because I think we can really help you navigate through these waters and provide you with the tools to really articulate in every single market around the country, the opportunity in real estate. Have a great week. Bye-bye. PRMG continues to provide our wholesale partners across the nation with better technology better product, better pricing, and better service. Our nationally recognized brand is more than just an image. It is a symbol of integrity. PRMG, built by originators for originators. Be sure to click on the link below for your free 30-day MBS highway trial.
This is Mortgage News Network.